Musical the Musical pokes fun at some of the country's biggest headlines through sketch comedy and song. The brand new End of the World edition mocks everything from the 2012 presidential race to Paula Deen's diabetes diagnosis. We're here at Theatre Row to get the inside scoop of this hilarious off-Broadway comedy. What makes the news funny? <laughs> Have you watched it lately? It's a laugh riot to me. When you watch how worked up people get over this nonsense, it at least if your sense of humor is like mine, uh, to see anybody get that worked up over these petty, petty things is a lot of fun. And so that's what, in our show, Rick Chrome does a great job of exploiting those <laughs> uh, mis misguided passions. The news itself sometimes is horrific. So the funny part is how people react to it. Like for instance, we had a, a number for a couple of years dealing with terrorism. And it was called uh, Felt Up at the Airport where little old ladies were now being subject to all of this intense scrutiny now. Everybody is, you know. And so, but they rather enjoyed it. So who's musical making fun of nowadays? Who are you guys throwing under the bus? Um, well, now in musical, we're focusing a lot on the um, Republican carousel, as we call it. Which, which person is up and which person is down is sort of fluctuating weekly. We also have um, Arnold Schwarzenegger and his love children. We have a big number about uh, uh, gay marriage in New York. Christina Aguilera, and Celine Dion. Um, oh gosh, everybody who's topical gets hit right now, yeah. This is the end of the world edition, so we do make a note of the Mayan calendar. Who's your favorite newsmaker to impersonate? Oh, that's a hard question. My favorite newsmaker to impersonate. Well, for a while I was doing uh, Sarah Palin in the show. I'm Sarah Palin and you better come see Newsical. It's fantastic, you betcha. I kind of like Nancy Grace because she's new and she's atti attitude-y. I'm Nancy Grace. The world is going to hell in a handbasket. Bombshell tonight. I'm really enjoying the Italian cruise ship captain because I'm kind of playing him like an uh, Italian opera singer. I turn to the ship, she hit the rock, I go to the deck, the ship is she rocks, and into the lifeboat I'm asleep. Morgan Freeman is a favorite just because uh, people don't tend to expect that uh, from, from me. As the sun so magnificently rises, so does it bring us one day closer to our personal rendezvous with the great unknown. How do you keep it up to date? How do you, how often do you change it? What is that process like? Well, that's the tricky thing, uh, because if you did a story about things that happened that day or that week, it, the audience wouldn't necessarily have heard about it. So I try to put in a couple of new things a month with ample opportunity to talk about things that have happened that week, little stories that are gonna go away really fast. Very often if something happens that morning, we can write a joke about it and put it in the show very quickly. So it's really current and really topical and the audience feeds off of that uh, energy. Rick writes new stuff. Uh, several times a week we get new jokes in there. So every time you see it, it's gonna be fresh and topical and uh, we are hilarious. And uh, I, it, people really, really have a great time. Audiences love it. We all need to laugh at the news right now in America. So it's a lot of fun, great music, great laughs, really topical. I promise you'll have a great time.